We've got another fresh batch of images from Starbase as we check in with SpaceX's progress as they prepare for Starship Flight 11. Wait, what? What's that you say? They've already launched it? What year is it? What day is it? I, I may not know what year or day it is, but I know what time it is. It's time for another Starbase summary. Kicking it off over on the Massey's side here. Looking at the ship stand and the V18.1 and 18.3 test tanks that have been undergoing some testing out there over the last month. It's me, it's John, I'm back. Huge thanks to the team holding it down on the Starbase summaries the last month while I was out and about overseas. At Massey's looking over at the ship and booster cryo stations there, that crane in the background I don't believe is a part of them, but you can always see those little ears that make up the quick disconnect. Crane storage yard we're gonna look at here. Some tower crane parts. Of course, we've been watching slowly but surely the tower crane come back together or come together over there for the construction of the Giga Bay. I've been watching that rise from the uh, construction area over on Starbase Live. I did try to keep up as I was out on the road. I checked in with uh, Starbase Live on occasion. Of course, I watched the replays of the launch. I was sleeping. I was over in uh, Europe for a while, so uh, I actually caught up the next morning on the replays. But seeing all of the construction that's happened in the last month, a uh, big obvious thing happening out there is that what apparently the cyber the Cybermen have invaded Starbase. Uh, what, did they get a discount on those things? It was like a hundred, I think, I think Thomas said he counted these, and there's like a hundred cyber trucks parked out in front, like some sort of cyber truck showroom for excess inventory or something. They even have like wheel gloss on them. Look, that one over there, nobody's even driven it yet. See how clean that wheel on the left-hand side is? The one sort of on the bottom center, uh, that one looks like it's been driven somewhere, but so many of them look so fresh and so clean. I wonder if there's like a checkout system, right? Do you have to check out a cyber truck? There's that booster ring wall we think is going to get modified. Parts going in. Gate A1 is that first gate. You can see the rocket uh, garden there in the background. And this is that first gate on the left as you drive towards the production site with Brownsville behind you. There's a cutie back cover in the background there. <laughs> it's just a cyber truck. You know, we're going to have to stop pointing out when cyber trucks are in frame because they've inundated the market with cyber trucks. Uh, I don't think we're going to need to point out when we see them. But anyways, that back cover we expect to get moved over in a bit. Here's a booster section moving into Mega Bay 1. I believe that said booster section. Yeah, it did. It did. I, I got to get caught up. I got like slacking on my skills here. Uh, a little out of practice watching the video and talking about Who am I kidding? I've watched lots of videos and I talk all the time. It's all good. But you know the drill. You can tell me if I've missed something down in the comments. All right, here we go. The Gigabay columns rising, trying to get caught up with the Gigabay work over there on the Space Coast. If you've seen our latest flyover over there, you've seen they've got a lot more columns going up out there at the Space Coast for that Gigabay. But they're getting caught up here at Starbase. This is a shot of South Padre Island, some hotels. That's actually from way up there. That angle was interesting. Yeah, here you go. This must be all the way down by the jetty, the very northern end of Boca Chica Beach. See the launch pads there in the distance. Looks like Jack went on a driving trip to get down there to the jetty to get these uh, longer range shots with the waves in the foreground. We're going to go all the way back to the launch site. Now, this is interesting. Apparently, they're tearing down the launch mount. The original, things around the launch mount even. This may not be uh, news to you if you've been around, but this is... They're getting on this really quickly. They finished Flight 11. They're already tearing out the berm. Spoilers, I saw this on Starbase Live as well. It goes on my TV in my living room most days. And they're literally just digging out the concrete berm that was protecting that uh, infrastructure there in the background. I guess they're going to have to be doing some digging in that area for the new sort of Mark II launch pad that you see over there at Pad 2. But this whole thing later in the video, we're going to see how they're it's seemingly they're already marking up the old launch mount. It's going to be the OLM old launch mount or original launch mount now. Oh, that's neat. They just drove right up that with the little hydraulic concrete buster jackhammer on a stick thing. Huh. You know, you put together a huge concrete structure like that and you're like, oh, the thing's going to be around forever. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty beefy concrete structure there. And then here they are just, they're just going to tear it out. No sunk cost fallacies allowed at Starbase, right? 
But in any event, uh, some markings over there as they're getting ready to start cutting that thing up and getting it out of the way so they can build another one of these, the Mark II launch pads that looks more and more like the Tyrell Corporation is going to move in here every day. Add a couple flare stacks in there, and, and we're good to go. Maybe a flying car or two. Um, but in any event, you can see them putting that... Oh, what's, what shape would that be? Trapezoidal? That last piece is of top corner shielding there on that corner of the launch mount. We've got a sunset at Starbase. I don't think we're looking in the right direction because the sun's going to set behind us here. It's like a, like a fade to black sort of moment. Neat. Then we're going to run over towards the rocket garden. You can actually see the longer shutter speeds there as that truck smears a little bit. And that other truck, who knows what type of truck that other truck drove by was. I don't know. Y'all can help me out. Got to look in at the Gigave construction as well. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of these pillars, and if this sort of follows along what we've been seeing over on the Space Coast, they may actually end up putting in more of these pillars than they need. Some of these, and I don't know if these specifically fit this bill, but some of them may be sort of temporary supports until they get more of the building structure together, uh, and then they take out some of them to create the huge pathways, that the transfer aisles that are needed to move the massive ships and booster uh, pieces, I guess, into the Gigabay for their final assemblies. There was a door closing. How exciting. Back over to pad two. What the hell is this? This can't be a backside angle. Wow, I almost need to scroll back and try to figure out exactly what angle that was. But let's check out the lift going up. We've got some headlamps on the workers. There's an arm going around the side. Interesting lift time lap action here. Are we inspecting something? It's interesting they extended the lift so much, but I guess maybe they're going to be going up this. Huh. It's not quite Mystery Science Theater. They're connecting something or, or inspecting something or some sort of ing on something there. What is that? Work between pad two and the road carrying around a big plate, I guess. A lot of times these plates are just to keep the ground stable if it gets muddy or whatever. Yeah, it looks like they're putting it down on the ground. So maybe just a, a traffic sort of thing. Pad 1's chopsticks over at the first launch mount. Been seeing a lot of things happen with the chopsticks here. Uh, preparing for modifications. Doesn't look like they're going to have to take the chopsticks all the way off. They may just modify them right there as they're attached to the tower. We've seen all sorts of interesting things like the cable being removed completely. Does that need maintenance? Is it just getting out of the way while they work on them? I think the chopsticks are sort of down on the stops right now. But I imagine they're going to make those more like the the second set of chopsticks, shorter with a lower sort of uh, moment of inertia, less length on those things because they just sound that they don't need them with their accuracy of putting these uh, boosters and at some point ships in between the sticks. Got some pump work here at the night, the uh, refilling area. Okay, oh no, spoilers, I just said the wire was removed. But here, look, there's, there's folks working at that huge block and uh, does the wire just, just, oh, the wire just sort of fades out of existence. Like it didn't go back in time and make its parents meet at the undersea ball. Interesting. I, I guess it just, <laughs> at that range, the wire or the cable, uh, when there were lots of pieces of cable, you could see it. And then as there were less pieces of cable because they got removed one at a time, it just sort of faded out. We've got to go back, <laughs> Marty. Now, this was an interesting nose cone that we saw rolling around. I saw it over on social media. Big thanks to the team that's over on the socials putting out stuff that we catch. But uh, the interesting holes cut in the side, maybe they're just testing something or working on it. Uh, this is not the nose cone. Apparently, this was labeled Chompies, supposedly a restaurant over there at Rio West that's going to be on your right-hand side as you're driving from Brownsville to Starbase, that sort of mixed-use development that they're building over there cool alignment of the shadows. It looks like there's only one booster, but the shadows on the back of the Giga, or the Mega Bay, actually, Mega Bay 1, uh, show you that there are three things in line there. You've got the ship and the two boosters. All right. I mean, it's kind of interesting as a shot. Whatever. More construction work. Looks like Gage rolled out. Maybe changing some batteries, but that on the left-hand side is the parking garage. you got the two gigabays. The two big black towers there are the bases of those tower cranes that are building themselves up to prepare working on, <laughs> on the gigabay. <laughs> we really like these gigabay columns. It's like, oh, yeah, hey, more gigabay columns. Look, yeah, here, have another shot of gigabay columns. 
three days later. Gigabay columns, uh, like I said earlier, they are going to be putting more and more of these in. Some of them may even be temporary to hold up the structure until it becomes, I guess, intrinsically structurally sound, can hold itself up, right? This is even more Gigabay groundwork. It's not columns, though. It's something new and fresh, like rebar on the ground, <laughs> it seems. It really has been interesting, and I need to check with the team, because originally we had a, a, a wide camera set to cover this in time-lapse, right? So we could see the building of the, these cranes, and as the Gigabay starts to rise from the ground, we have a camera that nobody's supposed to be touching, uh, so we can, we can get all this, and then we can make a time-lapse, like a sped-up version of, you know, the... the Tower cranes get built, and all of a sudden, like the, the pillars start to go up, and the gigabay goes up, then it gets clad, and the outside gets done, and they put a cherry on top, an American flag, and they're done, right? Um, but hopefully we still have that time lapse going, and we can share that with you in, uh, what do y'all think? Yeah, you know, like two months when the gigabay's done, or six months, or nine months, or 12 months when the gigabay's done. In any event, we are going to be watching it from every angle that we can, because long-term time lapse construction, things like that, are super interesting. So, what was just on the SPMT with that super relaxed but safety colored driver there was, uh, I think that was the cable from the chopsticks on pad one. This is the thing I've seen some talking about, this lift here under pad two. Not this lift specifically, but remember the dance floor and the taco stand and, and the way that they could sort of roll under pad one because it had the flat stainless, or the, the flat upside down shower head thing, right? And you could work on it how does that work with pad two? Well, that little lift is not a particularly efficient way to do it, but I wonder if they're going to come up with some way of working efficiently underneath pad two. There's something I alluded to at the beginning of the video, those green lines. It looks like they may just be chopping up that old launch mount, just getting it the heck out of the way. They're done with it. It's launched its last uh, block two set of rocket parts and they need to build a new better launch mount, launch mount using what they learned for that original thing there so spacex not one to cry over spilled launch mounts or whatever uh you've seen them tear up some air quotes historical parts that they just don't need anymore they're not going to go in a museum they're just going to get them the heck out of the way so they can continue working is going wow were they wrapping that with something they're going to put down an extra long pallet they're going to put it on that pallet then secure it to the pallet or something locks hippo manifold look at that that whole thing came off in one fell swoop huh hey in any event folks uh you know while i was out youtube fixed the issue you can change to the other languages again and it's not ai slop it's our own commentators talking about what they see in the videos out there at starbase as always, appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Thank you so much for getting caught up. And big thanks to the team for holding it down while I was out. We'll keep on with the commentary, and we will see you nerds later.